Welcome back everyone. Today's gear video, I wanted to take this opportunity basically to run through all my camo collection here, um, all my tactical apparel and stuff, um, basically because it's going to be changing hugely throughout the course of next year. So I'm going to do this video now to show about how it is now. Then I'll be doing another video next year when it all will have changed and you'll be able to see the differences because there's going to be quite a lot. I can only apologise about the lighting. This is an awkward video to film because I've got these cupboard doors right here and I have physically nowhere to store like big studio lights and stuff so this is I'm just doing what I can with what I've got now a lot of you will be thinking that's way too much stuff and yeah yes it is you're right uh, however I started playing airsoft about just over 10 years ago now and in fact I, I got my very first like Springer about 13 years ago that's when I first very started looking into like tactical kit I got my first actual AEG proper airsoft gun uh, in 2006 and I joined up in 2007 so I've had a lot of time to build this up this isn't just stuff I've bought in the last year or two sort of thing this is a decade of you know every now and again you buy something upgrading selling swapping stuff out etc etc this is gonna be a real quick run through I'm not gonna pull everything out because it take forever I'm just gonna go through it all tell you what's here just to show the difference when I do the next video there's a sort of order to it kind of cry AC Cup Combat shirt, this is the, the CS4, the flame resistant one in uh, multicam. Bit of a comedy combat shirt, G3 copy in leopard print, just for the lols. Um, tactical distributors, shooter t shirt, really good. Velocity Systems, Boss Rugby shirt, great option. USGI BDU shirt in US Woodland, really old one. Old, old CS95 Cup DPM shirt, like I one I got issued about nine years ago. Um, SKD Tactical BDU and Multicam, just a shirt, really good, really good option, um, nice material, good price. Uh, a Beyond AOR1 shirt, stretch material. Cry Army Custom field shirt, uh, and yeah, Army Custom, not Navy Custom, uh, that's what the label says. Uh, AOR2, got going to the combat shirts. Black, this is the first beer asset shirt, flame resistant. Got an uh, Arcteryx Talos, the older gen in wolf grey. Uh, an Arctis shirt made in the UK, coat brown. And we've got the LBX, can't remember the name of this one, it's, it's their combat shirt in Ranger Green. Really nice colour match with Cry on their materials that they use. Although that's an example of something I will be swapping out for a replacement soon. Uh, Potomac, flame resistant in UCP. And Gienna Tactics in, I'm not sure what this is called, the Russian SS somewhere I think it's known as. Leo Kola, combat shirt and flecked on. Beyond Clothing, US Woodland combat shirt. A prototype CS95 cut in temperate DPM. There were loads of these in desert but not many in temperate. UKSF Custom, uh, Gen 2 Cry, Multicam. Cry G3 shirt, combat shirt, Multicam. Patagonia Level 9. NTS, Multicam, Full Pattern Torso, Arcteryx Talos, True Spec, Nico, 5050 Nico Combat Shirt in Multicam Tropic, really good option. US Marine Issue, Frog, Desert Marpat, and a maybe Cry, <laughs> probably not, Flame Resistant Shirt, there's a few of these on eBay in Temperate Marpat. Patagonia, AOR1. Cry Navy Custom AOR2. We've got two of the, the Year Tactical Ops, uh, ATAX AU and ATAX IX. And then the proper in ATAX FG. Um, the ATAX is what all going to be going to be honest, because I well I'll, I'll go into the reasoning in another video, but that's all the ATAX is going to make room for other stuff. And the Cryptex, Vertex in Typhon, because I got a really good deal on it. A custom jersey in Cryptic Raid. Plat Attack in Nomad. Vertex again, this is the 37.5 with the Kokona. Uh, nice, really nice materials. That one's in Highlander. And then an actual Cryptic branded one again in Mandrake. Rasputin item. Pencott Sandstorm, because Pencott Sandstorm was a nightmare to find anything, so I had to go with that. Missing Pencott Badlands at the moment. Also got a space missing there for 
Multicam Arid, which will be coming in. Then UF Pro, Pencock Green Zone there, Striker XT, Combat Shirt Gen 1. Soft Shells, Plat Attack, Black Jacket. Triple Op Design, Old One, really nice piece in the collection. This actually US made, unlike current TAD stuff. Uh, stealth Hoodie. Arcteryx, Drac. Pick this up for a real bargain, actually. This is a Russian made one, I think it's Grupa 99, Group 99, I think, soft shell in a sort of alpha green. Space here for a Cryfield shell in Ranger Green. That's coming in, I've got it ordered, just waiting on it coming. Plat Attack, Harry Combat Jacket, I think was the name, doesn't it? They don't make these anymore, but it's basically an Arcteryx combat jacket in terms of the fabric, same fabric uh, and same as the Cryfield shell, but it's got a nice big Velcro pockets like a combat shirt on it. On the arms, then Arcteryx combat jacket, multicam, CS95 issue smock, the non ripstop ones, sort of the last ones they did before they went to MTP. Spent a lot of time wearing these, really, really useful as long as it's not raining. And then a plat attack smock in Cryptic Mandrake. But that's going to be going because I hardly ever wear smocks outside of work. Move the camera up to get up here. The Cry uh, flame resistant Gen 2s. Multicam 511 TDUs in green and tan. CS95 standard issue trousers there in DPM. Arcteryx Talos in wolf grey. Then we've got the Patagonia L9 trouser, Multicam. Then Arcteryx Talos, the old ones in Multicam. US Marine issue Frog, flame resistant trousers. Then we've got the Patagonia L9s, the, the new types that take their proprietary pads. AOR1, AOR2, got some old plat attacks here in ATAX AU, um, like a field cut. We got the Leo Cola Explorers, real nice, ATAX IX. Some, uh, I can't remember the name of these, are like a discontinued model from UATAC Ops in ATAX FG. And we got three of the plat attack Tactax Mark II, which is basically a uh, sort of Cry G2 slash G3 cross. Uh, in Nomad Highlander and Mandrake, US Woodland Pattern Gore-Tex Trousers, Beyond Clothing PCU Level 5 in the Alpha Green, or whatever it is they call it, then Arcteryx Sphinx Discontinued, so it's basically the Talos in a soft shell in the Coyote, US Equax, the Level 5 again, US Army Issue in Multicam, then Patagonia, I think, Level 5 soft shell trouser in AOR2, uh, and we've got some old Plat Attack Gen 1s, sort of copies of the ACs, Cry ACs, got another maybe Cry, possibly a knockoff um, shirt, that, that's my that's my sort of loner set. Then the Leo Cola Defender 2.0s in Pencil Green Zone. And over here we keep the more fancy lower half stuff. We've got the new Plat Attack Mark 3s that take Cry pads in black. Got their older ones in Coyote. Uh, Cry ACs in Ranger Green, Combats that is, uh, the Cry Test Items in UCP, Combat Cut, Army Combat Pant, Aussie Issue, Hard Yakka in their new version of Multicam Combat, all this is Combat Cut, and their uh, Geo Tactics in the SS Summer, Partisan stuff, Leo Cola, G3 copies basically in Temperate Flectar, Beyond, L9 open knee versions in US Woodland, Arctis, Ranger Trouser, Temperate DPM, Cry G3s in Multicam Arid, UKSF Custom Gen 2 Cry's Multicam, G3s in Multicam, G3s in Multicam Tropic, then the Plat Attack Tactax Mark 3s, these take the D3O knee pads in MWU in the Arid stuff, the Navy pattern. And then the old gen Patagonias in AOR2 that take the cry pads. And that at the moment is everything I've got hanging up. I've got a big stack of cries and Arcteryx and blah 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 that's going to replace a ton of everything you've just seen. Over the course of the next year or so, a large amount of everything that you've just seen is going to be changed out, swapped out. I'll be doing a lot of reviews on stuff, then selling it on. I've got a fair few videos on a lot of this stuff already, or um, social media posts covering a lot of these things. Anything I haven't covered yet, basically we'll either get a, a post on the blog, on the website, uh, we'll get social media posts, or I'll do a, a video on it, 
Uh, so it will pretty much all be covered, well, it will all be covered in some way at some point, so follow all the social media. Um, let, me, let me know down in the comments what, what stuff you guys run, what you like, what you recommend, what things you want to see on video, what you want to see reviewed or, or have a video made about it. That's always helpful. If you want to see more camo stuff, there's lots of content coming because I've got lots to make that content with, so uh, hit the subscribe button uh, if you fancy it. Cheers for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.